Can't do it. Dear Tim and Moby, why do we breathe from men? Hey, you're talking about the respiratory system. We have to breathe to live, but I bet most people don't know exactly why. Your body can store up a lot of the nutrients it needs, but it can't store the one thing that you need all the time. An invisible gas called oxygen. Since you can't store it, your body takes it in all the time in a process called breathing. Breathing is the main function of the respiratory system, which in complex animals is responsible for carrying air to the lungs. Here's how it works in humans. Everyone has two lungs in their chest. Your lungs are surrounded by your ribcage, and they rest on a dome-shaped muscle called the diaphragm. Every time you take a breath, the diaphragm contracts and moves downward, and your ribcage expands. This causes a drop in air pressure inside your lungs, which the higher pressure air from outside rushes in to equalize. When you inhale, air enters your body through your nose or your mouth. It travels down the trachea or windpipe to your lungs. Inside the lungs, air moves into smaller and smaller passages called bronchial tubes. Eventually, the air spreads to the alveoli. The alveoli are tiny sacs surrounded by blood vessels called capillaries. Oxygen moves through the walls of the alveoli and capillaries and into the blood. Well, the alveoli and capillary walls are only like one cell thick, so it's pretty easy. Oh no, there's more. When your lungs take oxygen in, they send carbon dioxide out. Carbon dioxide is a harmful waste gas that you have to get rid of. It's made in your cells and travels through the blood into your heart, which pumps it back into capillaries around your alveoli. Your diaphragm relaxes and moves upward, which deflates your lungs and makes you exhale this used air. And so on. That's breathing. That's pretty close, Moby. Our lungs don't fly around the room or anything, but they do inflate and deflate, just like a balloon. I'd say breathing is pretty important. You want to do all you can to keep your lungs in good working order. Regular exercise helps keep your lungs in shape. And you should steer clear of things that are bad for your lungs, like smoking. Smoking damages your cilia, little hairs inside your bronchial tubes that help remove unwanted matter from the lungs. In the long term, smoking can give you lung cancer and emphysema, a disease that makes it difficult to breathe. Right, and you should avoid air pollution, too. And toxic waste. And poisonous gas. I think they get the point.